Hi there, Crystal Thompson here with the Unity Stamp Company project. Color combos for today is a beautiful blue and gray. This is a great way to use stencils. We are freehanding our masking to create this very easy card and using the masculine colors. So stay tuned how to make this beautiful project. All right, let's get started with this project. So as you can see, I have my beautiful little gal already colored. I use very basic color selections in Copics, not a ton of blending, and my sentiments ready to go. I have die cut the whole thing using the Studio Cadia die dotted patterns, and all it does is it just die cuts the edges and then gives it a nice little effect. So then we are going to be placing that over a piece of gray cardstock, and I just felt that this was really going to match really nicely. It's going to layer, and we're going to do some tone on tone ink blending and doing some non masking, but we're kind of masking her on the stencil. So, to begin, we're going to place our stencil right over our little gal. We're going to use a little bit of purple tape to hold her down, and you can really go ahead and mask if you want, like mask the little gal by stamping her and then cutting her. Or you could just kind of freehand it like I'm doing. I'm going to be using Alton Crisp dies in a limestone. So it's just a very light gray. You can change the color to whatever it is that you want. But I wanted to just, just ink blend a very light color such as a gray. And my reasoning why is just that it would give it some dimension. But not having to fully color or give the, the card a full scene. So as you can see I'm kind of skipping around. But if you're scared of ink blending on areas you're not supposed to, really feel free to mask as you like. So we're just going to do some freehanding masking with this beautiful star stencil. So I'm going to lift it and now you have, you're taking your, your very simple coloring and die cut to a whole nother level just by doing some very simple freehand masking. All right, now well, we're going to bring our our other cardstock, and this is that gray that I was telling you about. And so I feel like the, the limestone would not really show through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach these guy, this guy too. But on this one, we are going to use Distress Oxides and Pumice Stone. So it's a lot of a thicker, creamier one. It's a little lighter, so it's really just going to really show up on this. And you got to ink up your brush. And I didn't clean out my brushes. I was like, you know what? It's gray on gray. It's not a huge deal. And I'm just going to do the edges. I'm not going to ink up the inner part of it because you'll never see it. It's just to really to make the whole thing come together. And you can even add different colors if you, if you choose to. Okay. We're going to lift that up. And again, it's very light. You can even add more if you want. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And again, just doing some freehanding. You could really create a galaxy look card by just freehanding star stencils on this. Okay. And I'm really quite happy with the way this has turned out so far. So let me show you, bring it up to camera. We can begin assembling our card now. So we're going to set everything off to the side. We're going to grab our little gal. Be sure you don't have any inky fingers. We're going to flip this around. I'm going to grab my adhesive. I'm using my scrapbook adhesive, Easy Grand Runner. Then we're going to just mat this. Make it get you guys in frame. And I know you can't see a ton of that stars, but it just really gives the whole card a really nice and clean look. And last but not least, we're going to embellish with some Nuvo Drops. These are translucent and sea breeze. And the reason I chose sea breeze is that that blue color combination with the gray. So this is a great way to combine some more masculine colors, you know, blue and gray, to create a very sweet card. My Nuvo is going to dry clear. You're just going to have a little hint of blue and it's going to look really sweet tying the whole thing together and you can add as much new drops as you like. I even thought about adding glitter to the dress but I think I'm going to keep it nice and simple where it's at and really just let the card be an encouraging one. So guys that does it for me. Crystal Thompson here with Unity. Be sure to like the video, 
click subscribe, thumbs up, wherever platform you're watching this on, so you get notifications of new videos. Thanks so much.